It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up next is the Commanders, veteran linebacker, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Commanders and the Bills, and it's coming up next. We are just inside the Beltway, about 10 miles east of the Capitol Dome as we come to you from FedEx Field here in Landover. Today it's week three and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the Washington Commanders. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And Charles, you talk about this commander's team coming into play here today. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to... Two one-and-one one teams here, each looking to move over 500, and we're underway here in week three. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So here are the commanders making their way out. They'll be led out by a first-round pick in the 2020 draft out of Utah State. This is Jordan Love. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some. They threw it accurately. One touchdown pass. So he didn't, you know, break the bank doing that. But he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. The numbers for McCaffrey last week, 18 carries, 109 yards. I think he's exactly where he wants to be coming into a game, partner, because he has to still be riding the momentum from last week when he broke the century mark in rushing and had one of his best individual efforts of the season. I would expect that there's more from him on the way after that type of a game, and I know his teammates and coaches, they feel exactly the same way. A bit of a jump there, CD. He breaks the line, and that'll be five yards. And you've got to stay more disciplined than that, Brandon. That's just a free gift to the offense. Second and two now. The penalty leaves him in pretty good shape. Love now. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Now come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up in McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a pickup of six. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. Quick throw complete to Reynolds. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Throwing. Love. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. Martin to the completion. Good for seven there. And it'll be second down. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. This will come by Crowder. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. This will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Working out of the gun. Love. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. McPherson's kick is good, and it's 3-0 Washington. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot, 
Instead, they made him stretch it out a little bit, but he's got to feel great now that he put it through the pipes. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. So here are the Bills now ready to go on offense for the first time. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys who catches passes with him. And not only does he ask them to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, they would be hard to beat each and every ball game. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Card out of throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Last play, they got stumped at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there, finding him in stride for really good yardage. Throw caught by Raymond. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Second down, and they go back to Gibbs. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 29-yard line. And now time will be called here as Washington has an injured player down on the field. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Counter play. Here's Gibbs. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Gibbs here. And he'll go down here right around the 23 yard line. Offside. Defense. Well, we looked at each other right when he flinched. We knew that that flag was coming. Yeah, offsides, easy call. Mark off the five and keep it moving. Here's a second and five now after the offsides penalty. Here's Carr. Going underneath, he's got Hawkinson. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. Gibbs will try and pick it up. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and a tackle because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Dobbins. Call it a gain of a couple. The defense stiffening here. It's third and goal. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Here's Carr to throw. And that is Carr. Touchdown, Buffalo! Jameer Gibbs, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. 
But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The commander's going to retake the field for drive number two. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them, but I'm quite sure he would be... Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Legere Sneed. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. So this defense, they get their first interception of the game. And since they were in plus territory, didn't have too terribly far to go. But they take it all the way into the end zone. And you intercept it in that close. You're automatically picking six points the other way. But what I like most about it is how the defense rallied, got up on their blocks, and didn't commit any penalties as well. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. And he'll return this one all the way onto the other side of the field. In just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense, and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense. In this case, though, field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. Love. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 39. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know, defensive end, he wants to get Automatic into the offensive down. backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard game. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 10 yards there, good for Washington first down. Love. And this one nearly picked off. Kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. Love looking to throw it. He releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the deep. Miller to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back at the 29. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. Eric Pearson on for the field goal. A 
After one, a 14 to three ball game. Second quarter now from our nation's capital and it's Washington in possession of the football as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. McPherson's kick is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now. So as it turns out, that sack doesn't wind up costing them, Charles. They at least get points in three of them. Yeah, that's where your kicker can really come to your rescue because you know after the sack, there was a little consternation there. Are we out of field goal range? Are we going to be able to get three? In this case, he stepped right up and gave them exactly what they needed. Derek Carr getting ready to go again on offense. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six to six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, the ball never touches the ground. Or if you want to take it to basketball, a well-executed fast break, right? Pass, 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 finish at the rim, basket. Yeah, ball never hits the ground there either. Oh, this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Washington on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This time they face a third and two. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. Gibbs straight ahead. Oh, some strong running. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open and hurtling through them. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. From the 42-yard line, here's a second and seven. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Open man is Raymond. He's got it. Second down and six now. Second and six at the three-yard line. A handoff running left is Dobbins. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a quick and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. Nine yards that time. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw a touchdown Bills. T.J. Hawkinson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Bills have taken a two-touchdown lead now. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So the drive goes 75 yards, 10 plays. And it was T.J. Hawkinson who finished the drive with a touchdown reception. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Another drive coming up for this Washington offense. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday I'll press it a little bit. This might be the case. 
to pass. Here's Jordan Love. His throw incomplete. I would say it might be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. He juked him. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Now, Jameer Gibbs and the rest of the offense headed back out. And no doubt he's come out of the gate strong only in week three. And you see the numbers thus far. And we always talk about identity, setting a tone, you know, getting, getting the groundwork laid for the season or, or for a game. And that's what they've done with the running game so far. It reminds me of when I first went to the University of Tennessee. And believe it or not, I was a quarterback for a day and a half. <laughs> and the first practice session, the first play we ran was 28 pitch, which is a toss sweep. And I remember the offense coordinator saying, that's our identity. That's our bread and butter. That's the basis of our offense. We got to get that down right here, right now. I think we're seeing some of that in this running game here. So did you not get that down, and that's why you were moved to the defense, or what? I, I don't know for that reason, but I do know I saw a couple of guys throw, and immediately they were saying, you know, you need to get back down. Hey, he turned into a heck of a DB, though, for <laughs> On third and long, it's Carr. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing on first down is Carr. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Hand off now to Gibbs. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. On second down, a run to Dobbins. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. first down as they're able to get the third down conversion they've been moving the ball well but this drive was in danger of stalling out fortunately this is a nice throw here and they're able to pick up a new set of downs from the gun Gibbs will get it and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line Julian Blackman bringing him down ball at the 14 for second and five For the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from them. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. Car going to throw. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. TJ Hawkinson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. In the second quarter and already his second touchdown reception. Absolutely the definition of a difference maker here in this first half. Clearly one of his quarterback's favorite targets in this game. And I figure he's going to draw a little more attention and coverage moving forward. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn now to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Washington offense set to take over. The 
Charles, a very uninspired effort. The last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth. <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them, to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait until the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. First down, love to pass. Over the middle complete. That's Reynolds. Short completion, just four yards. And that will bring up second down. To throw now, here's Love. Throw over the middle into the hands of the tight end, Parham. So five yards here, five on the play. And now one yard to go on third down. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. McPherson's kick is good. And the deficit falls under 20 now. It's a 19-point game. So he's been a busy man here in this first half. That's three field goals for him now. And not just three field goals, but three for three. So even though the offense has struggled a bit putting it in the end zone, they've still been able to come away with points due to his leg. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. But Jameer Gibbs and the rest of the offense headed back out. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first down, Carr. Throw out wide is incomplete. The Khalif Raymond was the intended target. And now it's second down. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He gets this underneath to Dobbins. And the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So everything else has gone right in this first half. Kind of follows that it would for their kicker, too, as he adds three more onto the lead. Yeah, and the way that this one's gone, definitely not looking like he's going to have to worry too much about pressure kicks late in the game. He can go out there free and easy, just work on his form, and he knocked that one through. So we have come upon halftime, and it's the visiting group from Washington who are out on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. It's time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. Let's check on one final game for you. 
And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And the half will begin with a touchback. So here are the Bills to take over. And they've got the lead right now here, trying to erase the memory of the loss last week to the Raiders. Second half starts with a run by Dobbins. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. Now he's free at the 35, and he's going to get this all the way down to Washington's 30. 69 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So the big play has him all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now flags will come in. One of the Bills got going a little early. False start. Awesome. The false start backs him up five. First and 15. Throwing now is Carr. This is Fant on the short completion. That's a gain of 11. Would have been a first down if not for that penalty moments ago. That coach is always hard on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They'll run with Dobbins. And he is into the end zone for the Buffalo touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. First possession of the second half now for Washington. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. And that's try to come back from a four possession deficit. And partner, you know, as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to bid. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25 point lead late that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible. If this possession is an empty one. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. No game on the play. And that'll make it second down. Love now. Now he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, 
it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. A bad time for a roughing penalty, and they get the gift of a first and ten. Throwing. Love. And that's caught left side by Mo Ali Cox. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll bring up second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Love's throw taken in there by Crowder. And the Commanders are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. First and goal at the nine-yard They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. First and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. On second down, a run with Carter. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown, Commanders. Boy, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Evan McPherson now for the PAT. And that'll cut the lead down to 22. That time, a nine-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will come out to the 25 as Hamler elects not to return it. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Still operating with a comfortable lead despite the score a moment ago as they begin first and ten. The drive will commence with a run by J.K. Dobbins. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. 84 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. third down. McCrary trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. From this vantage point, they've got the lead here, so for me, that'd be enough to go ahead and punt the football and let my defense defend the long field. If you go for it, you don't get it, then you really put your defense in a tight spot. Yeah, but we never know what people ultimately will decide to do here on fourth and inches. Fielded just inside the 20. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. The Washington offense set to take over again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now Love. Man open here is Crowder. And they work this well up field across the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. first down this is McCaffrey and he'll take it across midfield and in the Buffalo territory it's a six yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four here's love 
That's complete to Peoples Jones. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It'll go as a pickup of 14 and a Washington first down. A quick throw out wide caught by Crowder. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Play fake. Here's Love. He's going to go up top for the end zone. Oh, that is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. And that one winds up incomplete. Love. And that's incomplete. The Buffalo defense does its job, but it's fourth down. Back-to-back -back incompletions. The Warriors wants a nice drive. Stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass and force the fourth down. Another three on the board. He's been the lone bright spot. That's now four field goals. If this offense had finished a few drives, we'd be looking at a different complexion to this ball game because right now, the trade is really wrong for them, isn't it? They're trading field goals while the other team's scoring touchdowns. That's not going to work. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit to playing the clock game. Yet at the same time, you're also not going pell-mell like you would in two-minute offense. This is what NFL offenses call four-minute football. Take the clock out of the game a little bit, wind it down, but at the same time, keep advancing the ball down the field. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. From the 20, here's the second and nine. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Fair catch signal four and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. Working out of the gun. Love. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Love with it here, third and short yardage. And this almost intercepted. Not sure he saw the free safety that time. But lucky, incomplete, that'll bring up fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Jordan Love, ready on first down here. Wide open receiver complete. 
And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A three score game here late. You could probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. To the air again, Love. Throw out wide, going to be incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate. It was just incomplete and not intercepted. McPherson's kick is good. And that will get the deficit back to 16. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still got to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins to about the 23. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you, and sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Yeah, they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 111 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh, my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. On first down, McCrary. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. To throw its car. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? The kick by Fairbairn is good, and the Bills will add on to their lead. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. Well, you know, normally I get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, 
Two scores is tough enough. Three? I'm with you. That seems out of the question. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they will try to hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. Third and seven now. Love. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Brings up second and 10. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Well, the pressure gets to Love, and he'll go down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down and an exhale there as they convert on fourth. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. A throw over the middle, taken in. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only have they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And that will bump the lead up to 26. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out comes Washington's offense to take over. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough go for them. Love back to it here after the pick six. On the slant into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Now we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commanders in some obvious discomfort. Here's second and three. To throw now. Here's Love. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 36 yards on the play. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. First down, love to pass. 
And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there. And it's second down. Love now. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 24-yard line. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. First down, going to the air with Love. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Going back to Love. This is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Donald Perrell. Seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Commanders are able to cut into that deficit. Well, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns him there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make this a 19-point ball game. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. Oh, and that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. They run the counter. McCrary, he will push his way down to about the 14. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'll keep it on the ground. McCrary, and he'll find his way down right around the 12. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So for Buffalo, they get back in the win column as they move to 2-1 and one now on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they'll look to get back in the winning column next week as they head to Philly to face off with the Eagles. I'm Brandon Gordon. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.